putting slabs in the sky. Yes, that is how you keep your gold farm safe and sound. Ha 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 ha. Making this section for the video and then merging it with the existing section. My sky base is ready. And according to my calculation, I need 32 farming plots and just 4 sprinklers. Yes, that is what all I need. Now let's put the farming plots in this 8 by 8 section. Well organized farm demands space you. No. Whoa. -ho. Time to put the sprinklers. Put it exactly in the center of the section. This way, just one sprinkler will be sufficient for all. 8 farming plots. If you, wondering, how sprinklers get consistent water supply, no need to wonder, because they don't need water supply, Craftopia logic. Anyway, time to spread the peach seeds now. Stand exactly this way and then sprinkle the seeds. Seed planting works per sprinkle basis. So one sprinkle cover four plots saves you seeds. If you wondering how to get peach seed for the first time i will show it later but once you have peach crop you can use seed extractor to get seed out of the peach Let them grow. Time to harvest. Rotation saws are slow but can be used. Or just use hand attack to harvest. Selling peach crop in the market gets you lots of gold. Just 223 peach value 2.8 million. As you can see. As I told already. Seed extractor can be used to get seeds from peach crop, but to get peach seed, for the first time, you can start from potato seed, which is easily available from monsters, then you put it on the breed improvement plant, which has a chance to produce higher tier seeds, if not, in the first try, you will keep getting higher tier seeds from it, farm those higher tier seeds. And improve that again to keep getting higher tier seeds, eventually you will reach to peach.